And today, we're so excited to share with you what we've been working on. The next wave of innovations from Microsoft. The anniversary update to Windows 10 coming this summer for free to all of our Windows 10 customers. With the anniversary update, we'll introduce an all new Windows Ink experience. Our goal is to make using a pen with your device as seamless and as easy as pen and paper. So please welcome Brian Schoper, Brian Roper to do a demo of the anniversary update. You remember we launched this man, biometric authentication, it's enterprise grade, keeping folks secure with the most personal things possible, your finger, your, your, your face, it's awesome. Um, uh, but today, I wanna talk about another partner that's very excited, that's USAA, all right? They're the largest financial service provider to our uh, US military, and they're actually gonna uh, extend uh, hello support for their website using Microsoft Edge. Uh, because of that new FIDO spec in W3C that's implemented in Edge, uh, this, this convenience and security of Edge can actually light up here. So, so check it out. We're going to show you the website now. This is, this is so easy. I'm on a device right now that's enrolled with my fingerprint. All I'm going to do is just touch, log on with Windows Hello. There you go. My bad. Uh, and now it's asking me to touch my fingerprint. And just like this, uh, it logs in. It's that fast. It's easy. It's safe. It's secure. We are pumped about it. Our goal with Windows Inc. is to really combine the, the naturalness and the speed of pen and paper with the power of a PC. And there's four parts to this. Number one, we're going to put this pen front and center so you know what to do with it. Number two, we're going to make sure that we solve for the tasks that people are reaching for pen and paper most for. And number three, I'm going to show you how Windows Inc. is actually a deeper platform that enables faster and more fluid ink flow throughout the entire Windows experience, all right? So let's start with that, that first one, putting the pen front and center. Okay, so when I got my pen, I was super excited, but I wasn't always sure what to do with it or which app to use, so we're solving for that. I'm going to push this pen button, check this out. This is the ink workspace. All things ink are here. These are the three tasks people do most. I'm going to jump in on that in a second. But look at this. My most recently used pen apps, I can get right back in and do what I was doing. Also down here, tips and tricks. So users are going to know what to do with this pen. We're going to walk you through that. But another thing I want to call out to you folks, this right here, suggested apps. This is one place where if I touch this, uh, I'm going to go to a dedicated section of the store that just is amazing apps that support pen. All right, so we're going to light that up for folks. They're going to know what to do with the pen. We're putting it right front and center. What do you think about that? Here I had some stuff I had to make sure I showed you guys. We're doing good on that so far. But watch this. I'm going to make a new note here. My mom always gets worried when I do the demo. She calls me. You know, she speaks Spanglish. She mixes it up. We're Latin. Oh, yeah, Brian, I'm worried. Did the demo go good? How are you feeling? So I got to always remember to call my mom after this. So I want to make sure that tomorrow I call mom. But watch what happens when I write tomorrow. Okay, look, first of all, look how easy and, and smooth this ink is flowing. But watch what happens next. I wrote the word tomorrow, and because we're combining the power of the pen and the PC, you see it turn blue. That's because we're smart enough to know that was handwriting, to know that it was a day, so that if I touch it, my homie who rocks at reminders, Cortana, is easily able to come up and actually set that reminder for me. Uh, the sketch pad, I already wrote some stuff here for you, and what you're going to see is, uh, I wrote, of course, Windows Loves Ink. Can I get an aww? Aww. Y'all did that nice. It was smooth and buttery. So check this out. Why else are we putting ink front and center? I'm gonna hit you with some stats here. We did a little survey and found out uh, that 72% of people uh, still use pen and paper or various writing instruments a lot. That's 72% that use it for actually more than one hour per day. That's crazy, all right? Now, of that seven, in, within that 72% now, 32% actually use it for more than three hours a day. So there's a lot of people using pen. All right, now, check out how I did that. It was quick, it was easy, it was immediate. I got there, I could illustrate an idea to you. But here's what I wanna call out, because I have the power of the PC, I can do cool stuff like have a ruler. So maybe these lines were not as cool as I wanted them to be. Uh, look how I'm easily able to come in and rotate this. I can come in and get my lines super straight. I can come in and do this. Oh, y'all like it. You like it. Cool. And of course, the last thing, this is going to bother me if I don't do it. Y'all remember back in grade school, the first thing you learn is that whenever you have a heart, you got to put the little arrow and you got to do that. Sometimes it's hard to actually explain something to somebody as far as where it is on a map. Look at this. I, I want to make sure you see, I'm just going to take my pen and make a little dot right here. Watch what happens though. That dot, this is smart ink, man. It becomes a point of interest. That's a registered point of interest. And if I want to go over here and meet somebody over, uh, you know, by this, by the water, I make another dot. Now watch what happens. I just draw a line connecting the dots and look what happens. This ink is smart enough to know those two points, to know that distance, and actually see what's happening there, okay? And, and also, you'll be seeing that uh, we can easily get directions. Let's say I want to go for a hike, and I found a really cool route is to go do this. Now, watch what happens. This ink is going to be smart enough, again, to, to dry and know that that's 2.1 miles. But watch this. I can make a little place and say, here's where we're going to meet. 
Uh, and then up here, I'll say, maybe we're going to stop and do some lunch. Okay. And then uh, right up here, maybe I'm going to go and say, here's where we're going to do a picture. All right. So the, I, I'm making these custom routes, these custom notes. They're available with, across all my Windows devices. But watch what happens. Look at this. When I turn this to 3D, that ink is smart enough to actually stick to that thing. It knows that that's a topographical map and it's sticking to it. And watch this. When I actually rotate this, those little billboards that I wrote are smart enough to face me the entire time. That's the power of the pen and the PC coming together. Look how easy this is now in, in Word. I cross out a word, it's gone. Maybe I don't like this whole paragraph, okay? We've always had inking in Word, but watch how the text is actually reflowing now. Also, if you're like me and you're not artistically inclined, maybe when you highlight stuff, it looks like this. That's cool, look what happens. Let me show you what the ruler can do here. Um, so two things, when I move this ruler with two fingers, uh, I'm, easy, I'm able to easily control the rotation. When I use one, that rotation's locked. So what I can actually do is move this down here and snap these objects alongside this ruler. All right, so this is, this is easily coming together. Yeah. And now, when I line this up, check this out. It's really easy for me to draw some cool little diagonal lines to, to make my slide look awesome. There is no way I could show you all this on stage. There is so much more coming. And to kind of give you a glimpse into what we got going on, there's a little sizzle video. Take a look.